Hey guys, welcome to Geekborn. Happy 2020. So, we're going to start the year 2020 with the biggest flop people are calling of 2019, which was the movie Cats. Obviously, if you've seen the title, I had a blast. But, of course, just like every other movie, there are some issues, small ones, slightly bigger ones for a lot of people. I enjoyed the movie. I had very little to complain about it. Um, the actors, I think, did great. I can't complain about the performances, really. Um, I know people are kind of weird about, like, the whole, like, acting a lot like cats issue. Um, <laughs> especially Ian McKellen <laughs> meowing. Um, so there might be some light spoilers we'll go through um, to talk about the movie. I'll let you guys know now ahead of time. Um, but... The only main issue was the fact that Universal pushed this to be out so soon. The only real issues with this movie, in my opinion, were the CGI problems, which would include the hands um, a lot. Judy Dench's hands had like, no CGI for the most part in the whole entire movie. Jennifer Hudson's hands had no CGI that I could see in any part of the movie. She had her own, like, nails done, and that was pretty much it. Um, there's some different scenes where cats have more fur on their hands. Um, there's an issue with the cats having varying degrees of fur CGI on their face. Um, some had more CGI than others, and it was, um, it was a bit, takes you a bit out of the film. Um... But the music was phenomenal, um, in my opinion, for the most part. Um, Jennifer Hudson had a very emotional performance um, when she sang Memories. It was honestly something else. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to rewatch the um, televised um, like VHS version, um, a 90s version of... The Broadway musical, and of course I've never seen the Broadway musical live, um, but I enjoyed this interpretation of the the um, film. But like I said, if Universal would have waited just a tad bit longer, let them work a little more on the CGI, the the mice were like I don't know PlayStation Two graphic with like terrible CGI imposed children's faces um the cockroaches look like they could have been someone in costume but it looked like they just CGI like a human face on top of like I don't even know it was I had a blast with this movie but it upset me because they could have it could have been amazing they could have done great things they could have done more they just worked on that CGI. That's the issue. There's so much CGI and pushing this movie to be out at such a, like, a specific time. And the fact that it came out the same week as Star Wars. The last like saga film of Star Wars. And they... like uh, I don't know what Universal was thinking. I mean, they were Amblin production. So you have like, Steven Spielberg's production company making this what could have been like the masterpiece of the decade of the 2010s and unfortunately it turned into the flop of the decade in the 2010s the tail end right there just just made the mark they had to put it out and it's great it's sad um I'm upset because, like, it was great. But it had those things that just draw you out of it when you're, you're getting so into it and they draw you out. Um, I think they did a little too much with Rebel Wilson's, like, physical comedy. Um, just a tad bit um, during the scene where they introduce her. Um, I enjoy the fact that the main character, Victoria... She doesn't have many lines until she actually sings alongside Jennifer Hudson. Um, or like they 
Jennifer Hudson sings, and she sings her all, all I Wanted or whatever the name of that specific song is, but the, talking about what she wanted and that she just felt like she never had anything. And now she feels like she has something because she's part of the Jellical Cats. Or she's with the Jellical Cats before she becomes an official Jellical Cat towards the end of the film. Um, but it that just made that more powerful. Uh, and some people looked more like cats because of the CGI effect and the coloring of the cats and what they did with the, the nose. A lot of the, they're just human faces on furry human bodies with little ears and tails and... They could have done more with costumes, I believe. If they would have done some more work and maybe put more of the money into costuming instead of CGI. Excuse me, they wouldn't have had that issue with the lack of CGI. Like, even Amy McKellen's character had hands, or gloves on his hands. Of course, he had hands. But he had gloves on his hands, and you could see when he did his big scene... Like, when they have the Jellicle Ball and all these characters are singing their songs about their lives, it's supposed to be this amazing and powerful thing. It's supposed to be one of the big, like, critical moments. You're, like, you're going to figure out who the Jellicle choice is and who, what character is going to go and, you know, who should be picked. And But they just have these se these spots in the movie where the CGI just pulls you out. Ian McKellen's characters don't have... He's so cat-like but his him and judy dench their characters also don't have much cgi on their face um and judy dench's mane looks very fake during a lot of the scenes especially when she's first introduced it's very unsettling not like mine which is real uh <laughs> uh but it's it's upsetting because i enjoyed what i could out of this movie that but there's just so much to take you out when there should be so much to draw you in. And there's a lot to draw you in. It's, it's a decent film if you can set aside what you don't like about the CGI and whatnot. I mean, I tried, I paid attention to it for the review, but if I was watching it for myself just to watch the film, I wouldn't have paid as much attention to it and I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Um, but. That's my thoughts. Um, you know, bravo to all the performances. They did the best that they could with what they had, and I enjoyed most of it. Um, Jason Derulo was, you know, Jason Derulo. I think it was kind of interesting having him in there. Um, I I liked Idris, Idris Elba's character. Um, it's, it, it's a good film. You know, I recommend somebody watch it at some point. Um Maybe when it hits a streaming service might be the best time to catch it. Um, I don't know. A lot of people want to spend their money on something that's not complete. Technically. Um, but people buy video games and then pay for DLC all the time. So I don't know why you would complain about spending 10 to $15 on a movie. And, you know. <laughs> um, not to compare the two. But, alright. That's going to be it. Um like if you agree comment if you don't subscribe to tell me why i'm wrong or sub <laughs> comment to tell me why i'm wrong subscribe to tell me why i'm wrong later in other videos or subscribe if you agree and want to see more geeky content um even though the cats isn't exactly a geeky topic um, i'll have more on the way the rest of the year uh thank you guys come again and remember some of us are just born geeky have a good one.